Hello all and welcome to my channel DevOps Mailer. So in my previous uh, video, we have created a .NET Core application and we have deployed this .NET Core application on Docker container. Okay. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about uh, container registry, Azure container registry. So if you remember, we have created a customized image. So this is the image what we have created dot net so this this particular image is there on my ubuntu machine okay now this particular image is my private it's a customized image which we could be using for multiple application okay so in such scenario this image needs to be record or this needs to be saved somewhere so there are multiple options we can put it in docker hub as well or we can make use of azure container registry so this is basically we'll be pushing this image from this ubuntu machine and we put it on azure docker registry and based out and once that is done we'll be creating a container instance on azure cloud itself and we will be deploying this image on con container instance of azure okay now previously we have set up the complete docker we have set up the va and then we have set up docker then on top of it we have deployed the application now we'll be using pl a platform as a service wherein the docker the, the docker container and everything would be managed by microsoft itself and we would be just deploying our application using again we would be using again container registry service of azure okay so how exactly we'll do that i'll show you i'll we'll just walk you through okay now let's log in on azure this is my azure home page and if you just type container so there's option container registry so let's create a container registry i'll just click on add so what exactly container registry is azure container registry allows you to build store and manage container images and artifact in a private registry for all types of container deployment okay so this image we would be making use this particular image will be used for deploying it on any any sort of container okay we'll be deploy we'll be using the same image for deploying on kubernetes as well so up next would be my kubernetes wherein i'll be making use of the same image okay so again guys this is a series of video tutorial wherein i'm showing how we can deploy dotnet application on container kubernetes and in future i'll be touching uh, i'll touching azure app services as well okay let's create a container registry and again guys i'm just repeating if you guys are new to this channel please 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 subscribe to my channel and put down your comments what you like what you dislike and if you want to if you want me to add an additional topic or something a tool which you want to learn please let me know okay let's create i already have a resource group devops mail i just give a unique name again your registry should have a unique name i just give my name devops mail and this is very unique for me okay let's see it's unique or not okay it's unique very good okay location it's okay sku i'll keep it standard encryption tags let's create Okay, let's create this container registry. Okay, while it is creating, there are several, uh, there are so few prerequisites which needs to be done in order to push this, push from our Ubuntu machine on this container registry. Okay, let's create it. Let's see this. This is the overview page. This is the login server devopsmailer.azure.io. That's very good. It's created. So there are pre prerequisite steps which we have to run it on Ubuntu in Ubuntu server. So we need we need to have uh, Azure CLI set up there. Okay. So these are the command to set up Azure CLI. Let's run these command on my ubuntu server which we have created in my last tutorial video let's run this let's do the cd okay let's run this okay 
Right now, let's update the Ubuntu machine again. Okay, again, guys, all those commands and everything, whatever I'm running, it will be available on my description box. Please check that, or we'll have a, a Git GitLab URL wherein you can directly download it from there. You can clone the clone my Git repository. Okay, let me install Azure CLI first. Okay, so as Azure CLI is getting installed. Once that is installed, we need to log in to my Azure cloud. So it will take take down all my credentials. So we have to log in. Okay, so this is the this is the command to log in. Let's see if it's installed or not. It's still getting installed. Let's wait for a while. Okay, so it's installed. Let's log in on Azure. Okay, so it's prompting you to sign in. You have to go to this browser and enter this code. Let me open this browser on my edge. Let me copy the code as well. This is the account which I'm using DevOps Mailer. Here we go. So this is done. You'll get a prompt. You're logged in successfully. Very good. So we are logged in. Now the next step is is to log in on my uh, container registry. So DevOps Mailer is the name of my container registry. I'll just go ahead and log in myself on my container registry. Login succeeded. Now, guys, if you see this command Docker tag. This is the tag which we are using, and we are pushing at the DevOps mailer. So this URL I got it from this place on DevOps mailer overview. This is a login server. This is the URL which I'm using, and I'm giving a name .NET app itself. I'm giving the same name. Let's copy this. Let's come back. Let's run this. I've given a tag next we are pushing the now we are pushing this image from my ubuntu machine to my azure cloud container registry which i would be using it for launching application on azure containers all right let's wait Let me fast forward this for you. Okay, guys. So the push is it is done. It took hardly one or two minutes. So let's go and check on a container registry. Let me refresh this page. Okay. So on this page, let's come down at the section repositories. Here we go. So this is a image. So we have this image on Azure Cloud right now. Okay. Okay, guys. That's it for, for from this video tutorial. In my next tutorial, I'll be using this image, and I'll be spinning up a container instance on a Azure Cloud. Okay. Thank you.